So, well, spectacular sprinting on the women's side. What can the men do? It is a strong field. Indeed, world number one goes here, Trayvon Bromel. He's in lane seven. The uh, Olympic champion 200, de Grasse, goes in this as well. Rian Salage. Sri Lanka, and Adam is heat in Tokyo, but he's a 10.1 performer. He's in one. Rowan Browning of Australia, a semi finalist in Japan, never broken 10 seconds. 10 0 1 is lifetime best, but he's been in good form. 10 1 in Brussels on Friday. Mike Rogers, 36 years old, about still going strong. 10 seconds exactly this year. That was back in early July. Ronnie Baker goes in lane four, fifth in the Tokyo 100 meters since Tokyo. He was third in the Prefontaine meeting and third in Padua at the weekend. Fred Curley, well, what an astonishing talent he is. His lifetime best, 9.84. That came in Tokyo when he took the silver medal. He's also run 19.7 for 243.6 for 400. Andre de Grasse, the gold medalist over 200 metres, the Canadian, in Tokyo. He goes in lane six. He also took the bronze in the 100. Trayvon Bromel goes in lane seven. He is, as I said, the world number one. He went out in the semis in Tokyo. Best of 9.77. Only nine men in history have gone under 9.80. Akane Simbine, the Commonwealth champion from South Africa, fourth in Tokyo. And, uh, took a certain area record back in early June, a 9.84, an African record. And Sylvan Vicky of Switzerland in lane nine. He's the Swiss champion, 10.22 this year. He's a 10-1 performer at his absolute best. Well, the meeting record is 9.76 by Johan Blake. That was back in 2012 by the Jamaican, nine years ago now. The Diamond League record, also held by Blake, 9.69 in Lausanne, also in 2012. Actually, some 10 days after uh, the meeting record here. So, Rogers in three, Baker in four, Curley goes in five, DeGrasse goes in six. Bromel, the world number one, in seven. Simbine in eight. Set. Fabulous start from Bromel, third from left. He's going well. A brilliant start, too, though, from Ronnie Baker in lane four. Baker leading at the moment. Are they going to come back at him? They're hunting him down. Yes, they are. Baker there, I think, finishing in third place. And it's Curly and De Grasse in that order. One, two. Nine, eight, seven is quick into a very slight headwind. Had to work for it though, didn't they? Wow, do they have to chase down Ronnie Baker, who I reckon probably led for 70, maybe 75 metres. But I think De Grasse has been beaten there. Curly gets it, 987 to De Grasse's 989, equaling his lifetime best, the Canadian. Brilliant run. And Ronnie Baker rewarded with a place on the roster of 9.91. Great racing and Bromel, well, 9.96. The first four going well under 10 seconds here tonight. Yeah, all about uh, 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 two stages of the race, really. Great start from both Baker and Bromel. Bromel still can't work out how to win on the European circuit at all. Curly, though, is running with so much confidence. He knows that if he's close, he's going to close quicker. And look at Baker there. He's got that meter. And then DeGrasse was uh, be again behind Curly. And the both of them charging through. But Curly just had enough over DeGrasse. That is a personal best for the Canadian, as Tim said, but Curly, tall, strong, moving through here. Ronnie Baker just running out of steam, as indeed does Bromel. Just rocking at the end there. De Grasse might have thought, oh, if I just got out a little bit better, or if the race was 105 metres, but it's not. So Fred Curly continues to show that he can choose his distances, and he keeps getting asked time and time again. 100, 200, 400, what are you going to do? And he keeps saying, I can win at them all. You know, I can win at all of the distances. I still think he's beginning to show that uh, at the one and the two, he he's, could well be more of a threat, maybe even than at the four, but uh, he'd probably uh, shout me down on that. But well, you're, you're looking at me strangely. I just think know what's going to happen now. Somebody's going to say, oh, I wonder if they can adjust the timetable so he yes. can go for the treble. <laughs> no. <laughs> But it's, it's, it's a frightening thought, isn't it? There's, I don't think there's been anybody in history, has there, who is world-class or winner at these big races at 100, 200, 400. Mike Johnson, great 200-meter runner, great 400-meter runner. 
you know, as if that's not obvious, but didn't have it at 100, not that sort of calibre 100 metre sprint.